Obviously, uh, we had talked about getting off to a much better start tonight. And the guys did a much better job with that. I think uh, we tried to just emphasize our energy early in the game. And uh, talked about it a lot today in our practice at 2 o'clock. And it carried over until, until, uh, into the game. So uh, they're a hard team to play because they spread you out and they got guys can play one-on-one. -on -one. Uh, Hardy and uh, Long, both, and Tillman, when guys can all make plays, they, they don't, not a real low post team. So we had to play smaller lineups most of the night. It was hard to play Alex against this team. Um, Kenny had his best week of practice. I couldn't get him in, so uh, we're just trying to keep getting better. When we don't turn the ball over, uh, we're a pretty decent offensive team. So we're just still trying to break habits of, of uh, turning the ball over. So that is, uh, that's the one negative of, of the night. But uh, for the most part, I thought our effort was great. We held them at 38%. They scored twice late to break 50. So you hold teams down like that, you're going to win a lot of games. After the scrimmage, you talked about um, finding an identity for Chris Smith. Yep. Um, what is that? And it's still early on, but what is the progression like for him, especially with 14 points in the first half? Yeah, you know, it, obvious, it, there, there's going to be nights when different, we got different shot makers on this team. So, you know, David's still coming back from six months out of a broken foot. Uh, Jaime's a freshman, and I haven't had a chance to get Jake in there because we just got numbers issues. But, uh, yeah, I'm more, I'm more, if you were to say, what are you happiest with, with Chris, I'd say he had seven deflections. And I would tell you he had eight rebounds. So if he takes good shots and takes his time, he's a good offensive player. You know, and, and offensively, we went small, so it limited the stuff that we could run. Uh, it eliminated a lot of our playbook. So that was, you know, that was made it tough on us. I'd like to see us get to the foul line a little bit more uh, than we did. But intensity, for most of these guys, like my, my big change for is their intensity level. Chris especially. You know, I mean, he's, he's one of the nicest guys of all time, you know. But laid back doesn't cut it between the lines. Not, you know, laid back's okay if I guess if you're a fisherman. Uh, Prince Ali scored in double digits, but also had a uh, uh, tie for team high four assists. What can you say about his production in this game? Uh, you know, like I told Prince, I've just told him, he's got to give us leadership. Him and Alex got to give us leadership. I'm a big believer that uh, in, the, in the great programs, uh, I don't care if you're a young team, you, you got to have a veteran. You got to have somebody leading you. You don't have to lead your team in scoring, but you have to lead us in focus, toughness, competitiveness, uh, lead us in being solid on the defensive end, lead us in making, lead us in to helping your teammates all get in the right spot, making the game easier on younger players. Um, and that's really been my message to him and Alex since I got here. And if I thought if they did that, we, they, they could have a, a, a fun senior year. The team was able to break the press, but um, struggled to convert those opportunities into easy baskets. Uh, would you want your team to be more aggressive in those situations? Well, I thought we missed Tiger. We snuck, snuck Tiger out on our game plan behind their press. And Chris missed him a few times. You know, it's just that's another area where, you know, Chris is a six-eight guard. At, at times, he you gotta remember, he wasn't a guard growing up, and it shows at times still. His ball skills still developing. So. So if we could have hit Tiger a few times when he slid out behind their pressure, but there, there was a, they were soft pressing us, just trying to slow us down. We did hit Dave one time behind, and he made a great pass to jail, and good, we got something out of it on that one. They were just trying to slow us down, really. Uh, this is really the the first time all season you guys have held a double digit lead, twenty point lead for as long as you did. Uh, would you say you were able to try anything new in the half-court offense because of that, try to experiment at all? No, it was, you know, I, I had to, the playbook got shrunk because we were playing small. So a lot of the stuff, you know, we, we don't really, it was times where we had Chris or Jaime at the four, so we just had to do our stuff, our spread, what I would call our spread stuff. Uh, I'd like us to have more player movement and ball movement, but most of that stuff that we do is 
uh, with Cody or Sharif, who's coming off his, you know, his hip pointer, uh, or Alex in there as a second big guy. So playing small kind of limited our playbook a little bit.